Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Rank Code. I am having a very low energy day, so I do apologize that my bits may not be as up to par today, but I still wanted to play. I didn't just want to say the. So, especially because we're so close to the Mitch Dungeon. Also, I messed with my mic again, so my landlord is mowing right now, so if you hear a lot of like whirring in the background, it's him. I can't do anything about it. I can't figure out what I did wrong, but I am I know for a fact that every like the game volume is okay. I'm okay. It doesn't sound the greatest, which is but I'll try to work on that for next time, but <clears throat> also my throat is kind of fucked today. Because we're back to having the polluted air again. So, I got water today, not coffee. I know, scandal. But, keep it hydrated, but my voice will be going in and out, so if there's any, like, reading I have to do, unfortunately I may not read as much as I normally would be willing to. Um, game plan for today is to do the Mystery Dungeon. Depending on how long the Mystery Dungeon takes to do, I might queue up Elden Ring for a little bit. So I could try to catch up the stuff. Because he was a beast last night, he played as Elden Ring. He's up to Godric, I believe. I don't recall if he ever beat it, I fell asleep, but... Um, he's up to Godric, so I have to get through Stormhill Castle and... Start making people my bitch. And then um, later tonight, brother wants to play Fortnite with the gang, so I'll be playing some Fortnite with him. And that's the current game plan. Let's hop in and see where the day takes us. We just talked to the church workers about the nail man because he turned around and he's he goes into the back for the dolls before he does the killing so we just learned a little bit about the dolls and some of their testimonies and we learned about the four cases so now we're going to go and investigate the four areas which is the casino a library at a mansion and then by then we should have all the pieces sent to the mystery dungeon i would assume um halara i've been thinking the first incident was six months ago right if we go to the crime scene now there's nothing left to investigate you think it will be a waste of time there's no need to worry about that are you finally going to learn your forte is so you have a plan then what? You're working with Halara Nightmare. What more could you possibly ask for? Now, let's be swift. Huh? Right. I don't really get it, but talk about confidence. Where's the secret club? It's over here, I think. I smell a mystery! I'm all hyped up! This appears to be the crime scene, but it's sealed off. They've left it like this for six months? No doubt they've shirked their obligation to clean up. I suspect the peacekeepers are lazy to a fault. Then she didn't be obviously just loving it. It's open. Let's go inside. I 
technically breaking and entering. Also, why was the uh, his cape like that? Like, come on, animators. The peacekeepers may be sloppy, but even they wouldn't leave the crime scene completely untouched. The body was probably found around here. I mean, the, the chalk drawing is on the wall. Iho, an old man who owned this place. His reputation left much to be desired. This place was an illegal casino operating at obscene rates. Even the cheating was rampant. You sure know a lot about it. When did you... I told you, I gathered my own intel while waiting at the cafe. The real interesting note is that this crime scene also had no way in or out. At the time of discovery, the door was locked from the inside. There aren't any windows either, which is expected given that it's underground. There are air vents, but they have secure covers barring entry. Besides, no one's able to reach that high up. Unless they're like an NBA the player. Is, the only way in and out is the door that was locked from the inside. It's a locked room mystery. Locked room mystery. <laughs> but there's not much more to investigate. We'll know what state the body was in at the time of discovery. I told you not to worry. The conditions have all been met. Conditions? Don't tell me you've forgotten I'm a master detective. Oh, your forte! My forte is post-cognition. The power to see the past. Ooh. However, it can only be used at murder scenes. To be precise, I can only see how the crime scene appeared at the time it was first discovered. Another way to describe it would be as crime scene limited psychometry, if that's easier to understand. <laughs> that's amazing! It's like the perfect forte for a detective! So wait, we'll be able to see My who done it. allows me to see the moment the first witness saw the crime scene. Oh, okay. Not the culprit, not the victim. But how it appeared when a third party first entered. Yeah. The memory or perception of the witness does not affect my postcognition. What I see is what actually was there. When it comes to my power, the witness is not a camera or a recording device, but rather a trigger. Perhaps the best way to think of it is like a bookmark stuck between the pages of when the body was found. Well, there's no point in wasting more time explaining. Let's have a look. That power sure is convenient. Explains all the confidence. Yeah. It's similar to the mystery labyrinth, where I recreate the crime scene in your mind. But now mm. it's done in the real world. Okay, so it's the same power Shinigami uses. Although, it is limited to both the crime scene and the moment of first discovery. But still, it's amazing. On the other hand, my master's got nothing. Why is life so unfair? Now I'm angry! Master, Girl. can I nibble on your heart to help cheer me up? But of course not! Why would that be made a key? I wonder what it's like. All I can do is wait for the report. Well, do I have some good news for you? What is it this time? What, am I gonna copy her ability now? Master, try to remember. Did you feel anything back on the Amaterasu Express? You know, when the other master detectives use their powers? This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. 
somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Right. I can sense whenever a master detective uses their power. Yes, that's it! Maybe your coalescence will work now. Coalescence? Simply put, it's the ability to share someone else's power. On the train, you only felt the resonance of other people's fortes, but its true function is to share their powers. Oh, that'd be our forte kind of sense. Wait, then that means I can also see the scene in the past with Halara? That's amazing! Is this your ability, Shinigami? Huh? Is something like that? But there are conditions for it to activate. <laughs> what did I have to give them in my life? You must kiss someone to share their ability. Uh. What? Kiss Halara? Ha! I lied. <laughs> Look at you blush. Did you really want to? You still don't know if Halara is a boy or a girl. Oh, quit messing around and tell me how it works. You need permission from the person sharing the ability first. Then, you must hold hands while the ability is active. That's it. Okay, so kind of like the whole- Okay, I can do that. Um, Halara. Hmm. Halara? I need you to be quiet. I'm concentrating. Sorry, but there's something I want to ask. Not gonna recap the whole thing, just... Coalescence. Hold hands. You... and me. Yes, that way I'll be able to see the past too. I think. My sources made no mention of such an ability. In fact, you're just a trainee. I discovered the ability yeah, on the Amaterasu I Express, so... Yeah. Anyway, we don't have much time. Let's try it. I have no intention of getting friendly with you. Oh, uh, it's not like that. I despise you. Oh. Huh? Just Bad the day. thought of holding your hand makes my skin crawl. I didn't know you hated me so much. Let me be clear. I don't just hate you in particular. I despise all of humanity equally. I don't trust anyone. Except the dead. <laughs> I had a feeling. Halara must be a demon straight from hell. Well, then why did you choose to help me with the investigation? As I told you in the beginning, I always work sincerely for the payment I receive. Money's money. As long as you promise payment, I will promise my utmost efforts as a professional. Then please, hold my hand. It's necessary for the investigation. You can have this to my bill if you want. You'll agree then, right? Hmm. <sighs> Fine. If it's what I must do as a detective, then I have no choice but to agree. I was gonna say, don't you dare do like some Sailor Moon type shit. Oh, I can see it. Everything looks different than a moment ago. Incredible. So this is post cognition.
We got dolls all over the place. The table moved. So your coalescence is real. I didn't expect you to already have your own forte. Well, this does save me the trouble of reporting it back to you. But it's quite inconvenient to keep our hands joined. Very well. Go ahead and lead the investigation. Okay, let's see. Me? If you can see what I see, that would be for the best. I'm only acting as your assistant, after all. This is quite the bizarre crime scene. But unusual crime scenes are expected when you work for the WDO. Now, let's see what you're capable of. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna do it. So this may work. This may not. Okay, we're gonna build a profile now. One second. Well, does it work? Cause I still have an empty graph, so I don't know if it worked or didn't. I just sat here quietly for a few seconds. It's picking up something because I can see it on the OBS, so... I don't have anything on. The only filter I have right now is the plugin. So I might have to add noise gate in on top of that. Or... Now, how's that? I'm just gonna mute the uh, game for a second. Can you hear my mom's phone in the back? If I can hear my phone over the microphone, that's how I know it's loud and that's what I'm trying to eliminate. Like, sounds okay. Doesn't sound like, oh, like, echoey or anything. I cannot hear anything. I have kids. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, bet. All right, let's turn on the music again. All right, thank you, twin. Hmm. Ooh, early day. We like early days. Then here, the four corners of the cover are screwed down, so I don't think it'll open. That the cover could be open when it's right. like this. Too early to conclude there's no useful information. Compare it with what was seen in cost cognition. Alright, I'll give it a try. Oh, 
Oh, I have to use post-cognition on its own. A body. I see a body. The murder seen through Halara's eyes is completely silent. There are dolls nailed to the walls and floor, and a corpse pinned down with nails in a similar fashion. And this all feels like a dream. It doesn't seem real. Again with the creepy old-fashioned dolls, though. Decorations all around the crime scene, and it's so so quiet. It's a man's corpse. He's probably around sixty years old. His body is pinned against the wall with countless nails. There isn't much bleeding, so the nails must have been hammered in after he died. You're starting to get the hang of this. Not too shabby. I see the strangulation marks on his neck too. On him. Signs that he was strangled. Yes, the scratch marks. They tried to fight it. Scratch marks were probably made when he resisted. I should just shut up. The most basic of basic observations. Well, at least you noticed. That's thanks to everything I taught you at the clock tower. <laughs> Such an awesome mentor. Debatable. This situation is identical to the murder at the clock tower. The culprit first strangled the victim to death, and then decorated the room afterward. But why? Yeah. And male's calling card, their nail into the wall seemingly in a random face in all directions. Not really a pattern. Nothing that'd be connected to the culprit, so let's try something else. I don't want to want me the two. Then there's the vent. Hey, this vent. The cover is in place, but it hasn't been screwed on. Which means it could be easily removed, right? What are you doing? You can't touch what you see in post-cognition. Even if you happen to be three meters tall. Oh, I see. But I think this will be an important clue. Well, if the vent cover's not screwed on... by 30 centimeters. A thin adult can probably pass through. So it's not completely a locked room mystery anymore. By the way, Yuma, did you notice the nail below the vent? Below the vent? Huh, some of the nails are bent downward. Maybe they were hammered in a hurry. Or they used that as a ladder. Perhaps there's another reason. It was used as a ladder. Another reason? Let's redo this, but with close cognition. Hmm. Yeah. I see. No, that wheel. The others. There's no doll in the roulette wheel. The key be hiding key there. Glass. Is it the key to the room? Seems like it. By the way, being an illegal casino, 
The security was extremely tight. There is only one master key. It's also a special key that can't be duplicated. If it was thrown in. When there's a will, there's a way. It wouldn't be inside the glass. So this is definitely another lost room mystery. <gasps> Hooray! I'm so glad I met you. No, I'm still not fully convinced it's a lost room mystery. Not this one. broken maybe someone broke it and forced their way in like at the clock tower but from the looks of it there's no sign of the lock or door being tampered with oh if the lock is broken then how could the lock work that broke now what does that mean Well, I don't see anything else. I think that's about it. And we're done. That should do it. There isn't much else to investigate. At least for here. I've never experienced this before, but it's surprisingly convenient to be able to share my post cognition. It's exhausting to explain what I see to a client. Really? People do not believe what they cannot see. I have often been called a liar. I suppose fortes aren't always convenient. We still have locked room mysteries to examine. The second incident was at the mansion near Gima District. I have an idea of where to go. Let's hurry there. Where we go into the wild blue yonder. So the building the next we're heading one. to is access through Gima District. Let's hurry there. This way, right? But I can't get there. Do I have to go up and around then? I still went the wrong way.
Here we are. It does really look like There's a mansion, a though. Mansion beyond the gate over there. I wonder if that's the second crime scene. That's probably it. Let's go inside. It's closed, as expected. And the jump! Or she just ninja kicks the fucking door. Are you sure? Helena. <laughs> Did you wait? I mean, really? What's out here? Not this way. There's something out there I want to talk to. Fine. I use... Oh. It looks like a haunted mansion. Uh, I hope there aren't any ghosts around. I have a feeling they'll appear this time. You're a ghost! Technically. I've been meaning to ask, but aren't you kind of a ghost yourself? Oh, thank you. The incident occurred about three months ago. The victim was Ali Hohen, the owner of this mansion. He had no family and lived alone. The mansion is now empty and dilapidated. The crime scene is in the study near the back. Let's go. Oh, whoa! The mailman One step closer! Besides the locked room, the first person to find the body was always the same person. That worshiper from church? Do you suspect him too? Oh, I fucking do. What he I do. Did make sense. He's been obsessed with the nail man, and had access to the names of potential. Victims. You just gotta wait for the iOS now, right? It's not too surprising for him to be the first on the scene each time. I guess I shouldn't assume things going into this. That's right. It's down this hallway. The crime scene is in the room on the right side. There's little time. Let's head straight there. Ha! Think you're partners now? Just because you held hands with my master? I got me chilled out. I'll have you know, <clears throat> master and I are connected on a much deeper level. Don't make it sound so suggestive. <laughs> oh, so it's an official app on Android. I'm gonna fix YouTube authentication before submitting that one. No, oh, but I have Apple. <laughs> it's okay, it works on PC, so. Like or it will once you're done, right? <laughs> you're worse than Mike trying to scare me with the fucking T Rex. <laughs> I'm excited, so twin. This is the study where the crime took place. Oh, it's open. I wonder if the lock was broken at the time of discovery here, too. Only one way to find out. Give me a hand, bitch! There's nothing left here, either. It's all cleaned up. I don't this place to... has been abandoned for three months, yet there's still fish swimming in the fucking aquarium. Are you sure? Don't make a big deal out of it. Just make it quick. That's some fucking miracle fish over there. The crime scene of the murder is vividly brought to life before us. It all happens in silence, as though awakening from an eternal slumber. 
But the corpse will never wake up again. Even if the corpse did awaken, also got the some various down would prevent the title it from rising. The oh. door is the only entrance and exit to the room. Shoot. I'm like the perfect beta tester because I will find something wrong with every. <laughs> Be like, oh, like this. <laughs> Need some little clarification. Holds the answer to this bizarre mystery. Oh. The lamp slides pointed at the table, but it wasn't turned on at the time. There's a switch. Uh, Actor on the desk looks like the set's off when the corpse is found. And got the dolls on the floor. The projector up here. Uh, I'm. You'll never read your message. I'll check that out for you. Find anything? Usual and unrelated. I don't know whether or not it matters to the function. I hey, mean, hey. Hmm. Or just go bot. Both bots and nap current. Virgin. Is a well built man, approximately 30 years old. Twin has that look. He needs to go play a Powerball ticket. <laughs> the corpse here is also covered in nails. His appendages and chest are all nailed to the floor. The owner of this mansion made his fortune in real estate from an early age. But along with aggressive land sharking and other illicit transactions, he made shady deals with Amaterasu Corp. There are several if reasons. If I played you, would win. That's on my list. A doll words. with his name on it was bound to be nailed. Shit, that's what I gotta course. do today. I have to go get a ticket. I wonder how the person who cursed I need to get two dollars out of my pennies. Dead. <laughs> Perhaps I played on Saturday and didn't win nothing. They just hopped on the urban legend bandwagon. Is that really the case? Wait, this is all. This is literally all I got until I get paid. It's so. Did you find something? I can find two dollars in here. <laughs> the length of the nails driven into the corpse are all slightly different. Or six nine seven. The length isn't the problem here. It's how hard they were hammered. I'll play it. Fuck it. What do you mean? Now I need three dollar. <laughs> the nails driven into the lower torso went through the body and into the floor. But the nails in the upper torso did not penetrate all the way through the body. But why would the culprit not hammer the nails in as hard on the upper body? That. That's not the only unnatural thing. Take a look at the blood. The nail wounds on the lower torso appear to be bleeding sideways. But the upper torso wounds are bleeding vertically down toward his waist. The blood flows differently between the upper and lower body? But uh, duh! Maybe the Circulation. Upper and lower torsos are different people, and they were smushed together after mm. death. That's disturbing. Cause of death here appears to be strangulation as well. And like the others, there are rope marks around the neck and traces of a struggle. Oh, but on a closer look, there's a mark left by a thin string on the back of his neck. It couldn't have been the rope that was used to strangle him. The thickness is completely different. There are two different types of string marks on the body. Was he strangled twice? 
Then it'd be odd to only have marks behind his neck. And why do the strings have different thicknesses? Anyway, it's an important piece of evidence. That's true. It appears. Gotta get them points so I can get my skill point. Sit down right here. I can't. Uh, books? Why would I just try to have me? There's the double sound. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm just doing this again for the um hmm. points for my skill hmm? tree. Onto the real stuff. Oh, also, why is stream elements like seriously pushing stuff? It shouldn't be pushing it that much. I fixed the timer on it. Dang it. It's me. I guess I'll have to fix it again. See. It appears. The dolls are just usual dolls this time. What does that mean? It appears. Okay, I think I'm done here. And it can't be. Yeah, I see. There's one singular doll on the wall. Only one doll nailed to the wall. The others were not. Oops. Comparatively, there was a nearly obnoxious number of dolls nailed to the walls in the other crime scenes. Maybe there was no room to nail them to the walls because of all the bookshelves in the way? Safe bet. Wait. This doll has both eyes gouged out. Did the culprit do this on Steph? purpose? This keeps getting more and more disturbing. But it's kind of creepy cute. I want to put one next to the top of a staircase so people can run into it at night. Fuck you, Shinikami. Fuck you. Uh, why would you want to do that? Because he's a bitch. You know, this doll seems made of cheaper materials compared to the other ones. Hey, you're right. Like it's made of resin instead of porcelain. The texture don't even say resin, because I'm about to get into part. resin, and I don't want to be, like, fucked out else. already. <laughs> the eye holes are connected to each other in the head cavity. It's like that darkness is staring into me. Huh? Thank God this isn't a Resident <laughs> Evil game, because they would fuck with you here. Just to let you know. <laughs> Okawa is not that much of a douchebag. <laughs> okay, the door would have been shut. The door here can only be locked with a key. However, there is only the master key. No spares exist. The scenario resembles the locked room mystery in the casino. We can disregard right. the possibility of a 
duplicate key. What does a sadistic bastard <laughs> Thank God he's not that bad. <laughs> the master key was found in this room at the time of discovery. And this is also similar to the locked room mystery in the secret club. But there is one difference. The key was found underneath the corpse. Under the corpse? But we can't move the corpse in the past, so we can't confirm if that's true. Postcognition isn't all powerful, but it's a fact that the key was found under the corpse. I have a crime scene photo taken back then in my jacket pocket. No detail has slipped past my efforts. Right. That's a cat. <laughs> huh? What's this? <laughs> Wait, not that one. I meant the other photo. This one's unrelated to the case. Oh, this is it. You're right. The key's near the middle of his back. But can this photo be trusted? Could it be something the peacekeepers fabricated? The peacekeepers acknowledged the incident occurred in a locked room. Besides, there's no need for fabrication. After all, it would be more convenient for them to have fewer mis- That's true. Right? So Kitty! Doubtful. No, that's expected of a detective. You're starting to figure out how to do your job. Was that a compliment? Kept real big bad. I'm gonna laugh so hard if the kitty was the murderer. <laughs> that's really all it takes to please you. Also, I drew a sketch of the room's state on the back of that photo. Remember it well. Yeah, okay. But why a sketch? How can it help solve the mystery? Also, what was with that cat photo anyway? That's surprisingly cute. Elena has a dark cute side. Maybe a girl. You still don't know. Oh, it's gonna want me to check above the door in it. Alright. Don't get me through that tiny little airship. There is a vent, but it's and it's also screwed shut from the inside. Oh, what's this now? Master! I discovered something! There are marks in the gap between the vents, like something scraped against it. Really? But given your height, you couldn't see it even if he stood on a chair. Uh, Halara, can you use that chair to peek into the vent? I will do so for 10,000 yen. Really? You're charging me for it? Money grabber. I just. The marks in the vent seem to be left by strings rubbing against it. I wonder if that's where the tiny string marks came on the guy's neck. Did someone hitch a string to it or something? String tried to start strangling him with the tinier string and then went with the thicker one. The perspective. I'm surprised you noticed. Oh, uh, it was just a hunch. See? I told you I'm useful. I do way more than just float around. Fatable. You should give me 10,000 yen as a reward. I'm getting a headache. <laughs> Word. <laughs> This is... Hmm. I'll... Alright. Looks like there's nothing left to check. And we're done for here. One more to go. Yard gallery. Now we've gathered enough evidence. Though it appears complicated at first glance. The answer is simple. That's what I think. Huh? Uh, Halara, did you already solve the locked room mystery? What? You haven't? There's 
just no way to solve it with what we have. How is the room locked? It's unfit for one detective to ask another that question. For the sake of your own pride, you must figure it out. Well, the guy had smaller... Unless you'd like to hire um, me to do it for you. It won't come cheap. Or marks on his neck, and myself. then the larger one, so... It's really all about the money with Halara. The longer I'm with Halara... Someone tried to strangle him with something yet. small, and then upgrade it to the larger me. size, and when we finished him no. off. Let us be swift. Next up is our last crime scene. Wait! I mean, I have little legs! Mike's here. Well, Too many know. books for me. So Twin would not like my room, then. Right. The chief's in danger, after all. Hey, Mike. Okay, let's take a look around the other side of this mansion now to see if there's another memory I can pick up. And it doesn't look like it. I already checked this side. But there is a request here. It has a request. Let's go to some cleaning and wants to nap. No. You know what the funny part is? Mike kind of stole that one from Adam. Just scripted. This is not your calling. <laughs> Part is that it ended up being a uh, pretty sure that's where I'm heading. Yeah, big family, we are brutal. Okay, so this is me. Need to go to here. I'm gonna do this request quick. Try right, taking the apple. Okay, we see it data.
Am I dumb? Family can rip each other apart, but if you're not fan, don't talk like that, right? Okay, am I- Did I not read that right? Station. Yeah. Hello. The only guy here with a blue suit is the this dude, and he doesn't have the thingy over his head. here. Oh, you know what? I bet you it's inside. I was actually shocked I got sleep last night. I was impressed with myself. I only got four hours of sleep because I played Elden Ring all night. Here he is. Oh. Hmm. Huh? No. I can't get my Elden Ring files saved to the cloud anymore, so I can only play on my laptop now. Which is fine. Runs a lot better on my laptop, but I'm like, now if I want to stream it though. I can't think of a way to stream it from my laptop. I don't think I can run uh, stream elements while I'm playing on my laptop in full full mode. I might be able to. I just don't know. Uh... If I can put that much load on it. He's not even trying to- He's- I almost got away with it too if it wasn't for this kid and his stupid ghost! Also, can we have a second? Because this is not lost on me. Can we just take a second? Because... This dude? This dude right here? You cannot argue the fact that this is fucking Castiel. I see you, Kawada. I see you. No. Yes, for now. I had to go back there. The things I do for SP. I mean, if you have USB, save file over. I mean, I could. Because my laptop has such limited room, I have a external hard drive just to put games on for my laptop. I probably have it beyond that, right? Hmm. Well. 
Someone needs a sub. No. Huh? <sighs> Why do you keep calling me a simp? <laughs> No, back on hand. You now need to go to. No, no, I'm thinking about it. I wonder if the ad thing is rolled out to where it got pushed. Why is my Ah. Now we go up here. Over the river and through the woods, across the road we go. Cause we can't just be jaywalking across the fucking street. So this is the art gallery. No shit, the T-Rexes couldn't tell you that? It's closed due to special circumstances. Well, well I made a murder. Heard only about a month ago. But I'm certain the crime scene has been cleaned up like the others. Not that it matters to me. We're just gonna ninja kick this door, aren't we? Wait, it's not a good idea to break into the art gallery. I'm gonna do it anyway, knock knock, the fuck up. Hmm? Did you say something? <laughs> <laughs> That's our Hellora. The crime scene is deep inside the art gallery. It's one of many storage rooms. Come, I won't allow time to be wasted. W wait, please. It's Tuff's raid noise. <laughs> FBI, open up. <laughs> Oh! Well? Let's see if I can look down here too. What is it? S S nope. Can't. Yeah. Okay. Is this the storage room where the crime scene took place? It's locked. We're going in. Just kick everything down. We're like a couple of thugs or something. Fuck those. <laughs> Was the first on the scene the person from the church again? As expected, it's the same worshipper. He said he was trailing the victim after finding a doll with the same name. He saw the victim enter the building late at night. He then searched premises with the art gallery staff. When they opened this storage room, they discovered the victim's corpse. The door was locked at the time of discovery, and the key was found inside. Oh, another locked room mystery! That's more total! But I'm starting to get bored. It's not so special anymore. 
What do you mean special? People have died. Let's start investigating. Yes. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna start the corpse. And uh, there's marks on this corpse again. Oh, it's me. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Show me the past. Post cognition reveals the crime scene in slightly faded colors. Damn it. The room looked vaguely hazy in my eyes, even with the rows of vivid paintings within the art gallery. The smell of paint oil that permeated the room wasn't that of the past, but the present. If even the smells from the past could be recreated, the stench of the corpse would be much more overwhelming. of a young woman she has nails all over her body as expected the victim's name is Iso Moet she used her good looks to have relations with many men the amount of suspects who could have written her name on the doll is nearly too high to count <laughs> uh, there's the S word that suggests being strangled to death huh but there aren't any scratches that would have been left from a struggle. And... You noticed as well. Yeah, there's a wound on the back of her head. It looks pretty deep. This may be the real cause of death. So someone turned around and blast her... Uh, blast her head in. Poor little window here. I keep hitting the wrong fucking button. This is. I'm. I know this. He's one of those Angelord protagonists everyone loves for no reason. I... Gundam Takara. Even though he didn't end up being a protagonist, but you know details. <laughs> he was Edge Lord. We'll give him that. <laughs> the window juts out and is used as a vent. It doesn't appear big enough for someone to move through. I don't know. You have to be like Ant Man or something. Just to make sure. Currently, it opens outward slightly, but there are no other suspicious traces on it. It seems impossible to enter or exit through here. There. Oh. A large painting lies on the floor, and it doll is nailed against the canvas man if i was that artist i'd be pissed nail goes through the head another nail is in the chest but the nail in the chest also passed through the circular hole on the key's handle did the culprit leave the storage room after nailing the doll and key to the painting if that's the case how did they lock the room the key was nailed to the picture, so it couldn't have been used. Lock the door on the way out! Well, that's what makes it a locked room mystery. I'm sure they figured out some trick. True, I was watching a ca uh, case closed episode the other day, and they turned around and used fishing wire, wrapped it around the lock, closed the door, pulled the fishing wire, and the fishing wire came out at the... activated the lock spindle and just put right underneath the door. Never would have known. The only di reason why they figured out it was fishing was because the piece of it was left behind in the room. 
the huts. Find the fishing wire. Oh, a rank went up. Just a regular old geezer. And then the door. There are two keys that open this door. Only one of them was inside the room at the time of discovery. The other one was owned by a member of the art gallery staff. What is Gus doing? That staff member always carried the extra key and used it to enter this room when the corpse was discovered. Mm. Where was the key found inside usually kept? It's supposed to be kept in the administrative office. But it's unknown if it was always there. Maybe it was lost and the culprit found it. Or perhaps the culprit secretly stole it. Either way, the culprit managed to obtain the key somehow. One key was in the storage room. The other key was always carried by a staff member. If the culprit is that staff member, then this wouldn't be a locked room mystery, right? Technically, no. The trouble of making it look like a locked room murder if you'd immediately become the first suspect. I guess you wouldn't. You might not be immediate. <laughs> I've been wondering did the culprit knock this paint can over? So, it could have been used for some sort of trick. It's unwise to make up your mind before. It may have been like this before the murder. Or it could have tipped over. Alright. You got carried away in the hopes of getting complimented. Be quiet. <laughs> I still say that it could have been like... I mean, the paint's still here. Oh! Also, I like how this illustration down here is just barely different enough that you can still tell it's green. Painting of someone screaming. See? You're not even trying to hide the fact that it's fucking scream. <laughs> Scream used to be up there, but then it was moved down here. Oh, it appears. Hello, 
accomplish nothing. Oh my. There's a nail stuck in it. The killer must have hammered a nail into the portrait instead of a doll. What if the dolls have like relevance? Why is there such a fixation on dolls? No. The crime scene so Never far mind. have all been abnormal. But this one's just sick. Hmm. I thought maybe the dolls had some kind of relevance to the people, but I'm like, no, the dolls oh. were all Victorian. I see. Oh! But the only difference is there's no dolls here except for the one on that one painting. That should be enough. Should do it for the room. Next is the window. What window? Ain't that little piece of shit? It it's the size of a brick. Outside of it. Go ahead. I'll stay here. Outside the window? It's not even a window. All right. Whatever you say, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. It's fine to inspect the window, but our buddy here really insists you do everything yourself, huh? And my master does everything he's told, like a good little underling detective. Shinigami, don't start with me. <laughs> oh, right. This is something I took on myself. I think so, Steph. I can't just rely on everyone else. I think we're about to go through the. Uh... Kid. <laughs> I get it now. That's no, never mind. Why I have to do it. <laughs> or maybe Halara's just taking advantage it's of you. It's punishment time. Death by window. Motivation. Huh? Well, I mean, if Monokuma could turn uh, a water into literal butter, you can kill him by pushing him through a window. Don't just be like the mink grinder. Also, I just grabbed the wrong freaking controller. What? <laughs> Even so. I think it's the right thing to do as a professional detective. Master, being overly nice for no reason is stupid. That's why you're so deep in debt. Yes, I'm in too deep and I'm trying to keep up above in my head. About? Did you check the window? No, ma'am. Oh, right, I'll do it right away. Outside the window, could that have anything to do with the locked room? The only thing you could do with that window, maybe, is if the key was tied to like a string or something, you could pull the string through that vent. Maybe. He worked heavily on the baby. I wonder what Halara discovered. You know, I think Halara is just having fun pushing you around. Ice. Let's rest. Hmm. Actually, I was kind of hoping there would be another one of those, uh, statues. Here's the window. Well, see anything strange? No, nothing strange about it. I see. Try entering through the window. What? Between the gap? That's impossible. Just try it. Okay. It ain't gonna happen. I, I can't. I can't even put my arm through this gap. I can stick a finger in, but that's it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I so. Good <laughs> job. You can return now. I'm stupid sometimes. Ignore me. Huh? Are you sure? Did you figure something out? Did you not? 
No, not at all. What's that about? Wait, I'm fucked. I'm a peacekeeper. Huh? A Vamatarasu Corporation? Yeah. Y yes, a Vamatarasu. Tarasu. <laughs> totally fumbled that. You're no good at lying, huh? I am. What did Forward. We are special investigators for Amaterasu Corporation. We are currently investigating a case. Civilians must not interfere. This is so going on, our bill. Oh, right. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, Halara. Are you sure it's okay to lie like that? Did you just fucking did it yourself? I've told you before that deception is necessary to finish an investigation quickly. By the way, aren't you an employee here? There's something I'd like to ask you. Can you bring over the staff member who discovered the body from that murder case a month ago? Oh, that would be me. Perfect. Describe the events for us. I'm scared to even remember it, but if it's part of the investigation, then uh, I have no choice. I'll leave the rest up to you. Uh, sure. Okay. Time to ask some questions. Now, please tell us what happened on the day of the murder. That day, I was doing my closing procedures when someone from the church appeared. Worshipper, I'm assuming. He wanted me to help him find someone and that he knew the person was inside the art gallery. So we looked around the premises together but didn't find anyone. According to him, there was a chance that the person he was looking for was being pursued by the nail man. I couldn't help but feel terrified when I heard that. How did you notice something was off about the storage room? The lights were on, even though they were usually off, so I went to take a look. The door was locked, so I opened it with the key I had. But I... I was afraid to go any further. So I let the church person go first and open the door while I watched from behind. And then there was a corpse. Did you touch the body? Uh, of course not. I was too afraid and froze at the entrance. What about the churchgoer? He saw what happened at the doorway and didn't go any further. Are you positive you didn't touch anything inside after unlocking the door? Yes, but... But what? The churchgoer accidentally kicked a paint can over when he opened the door. And paint spilled all over the floor. So that paint was from back then? Okay, I get the picture. Thank you. You may go now. Oh, right. That brings all the information together. It's time to resolve the case. Mystery Dungeon Time! I still have no idea what happened. Time does not wait for you. Our deadline is approaching. You hurry back to the detective agency. Huh? What about you? Worry not. When you're in trouble, say my name. Say my name, say Alara my name. I shall rush to your aid. Gone. What are you gonna do, Master? 
We've checked everything we can. All that's left is to point out the true culprit, but... If only it were that easy. Oh, I have no clue what to do. Oh, stop being so pathetic. Why don't we go back to the detective agency for now? We might get to see Fuzzhead get executed. Dude! All right, we need to help him. Are you Monokuma? I need to hurry back before the chief gets executed. Right, let's hurry. I want to know how they'll execute him too. I just fast travel back. That be a thing. seems to know who the real culprit is. That's incredible. Come on! Where's your competitive spirit? You might be a trainee, but you're still a detective. You know what I should do, just in case. Uh, let's see. I should. I maxed out. That's what I wanted to do before I went into the mystery dungeon to actually max out everything just in case you can't. says I still got five minutes it's about time <laughs> Investigating the nail man murders. Oh, I see. So, you're the one who interfered with our work at the clock tower. Well, yes. I will honor your courage for confessing and turn a blind eye to that incident. You must drop this case. If you do, 
We will leave without pursuing any further action. That'd be the ideal solution for all of us. What do you say? I know who really you did it! Think carefully about this. Solving the case is good and all, but think about my well-being, please. Dropping the case would end this peacefully, but still... Please! Get my dad back from them! Please! We gotta protect you little boy. A trainee, but you are still a detective. Once you have accepted a job, you must finish it. I can't back down now. The Neil Man killings haven't been solved yet. I will find the truth. Huh? Oh, you've said it now. There's no pulling out of this one anymore. Then our deal is off. He comes with us. This is for directly interfering with our work and bringing strife to Khan I Ward. He's too loud for me. But... Please, wait, before you go. Please listen to what I've discovered while investigating the past Neil Man killings. You investigated the previous killings? We handle all the information for those cases. Now that they're closed, there's nothing left at the crime scenes. That's where you're wrong. I have no time for your lies. The Peacekeeper report didn't say anything about the cause of death. I know. All of the victims were strangled to death, weren't they? I suspect this fact hasn't been made public. How did you know that? Because I told you, I went and investigated. <laughs> so the cause of death was kept under wraps. I hope you see now. Also, not all of them were caused by strangulation. My investigation is legitimate. Remember the art room lady had the blow in the back of her head? So, um... Please, let me continue. I will catch the true culprit. There's a loophole there, guys. Hmm. I don't know where you obtained that information. However, it appears that you must be arrested as well. Huh? You are suspected of espionage. I believe an interrogation is in order. Take him away. What? Wait, please listen to me! You almost had it, but got too carried away, rookie! Well, she have got me time to put him in- When you're in trouble- Time to put him in your death me. note. So this case that already is relevant to the death note anyway, might as well finish it off and such. That's right. Polara, please help. Polara nightmare. It appears you require the aid of a great detective. Pew 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 pew. Did you kick in the rim? I fucking love her. Oh, Laura, you came for me. Yeah, as I said, I would. I had to go and get a lollipop first. You commit <laughs> acts of violence against the Amaterasu Corporation peacekeepers. Not once, but twice. Uh, sorry. You can I count. Congratulations. A lecture after this. <laughs> Can we please keep things on the down low? Uh, Mr. Seth, are you all right? Who do you think we are in this town? Yeah. Can you really not speak without the fucking megaphone, my dude? You are nothing but an audience. The resolution is premiering now. The leading role belongs not to you or me, but to Yuma. Me? I'm the lead guy here? I've set the stage for you to solve the case. The time has come for you to risk it all as a detective. Expose the true culprit.
What's going on? I don't know why I was brought here. Can I go home? So that's what you meant about setting the stage. It's the dude on the far right. I've already committed to him. The real killer was among the people at the church. And now I have to point them out here? I'm full sending. I'm committing to the freaking sure uh worshipper. You really really sure? There's no room to mess up here, you know? Um well What do I do? I haven't gathered my thoughts yet. It's not like I can just ask for more time here. Yeah, I don't think so. Alara seems to know the answer already, so why don't you just pay up for it? But that would waste all of Halara's efforts setting the stage for me. No, what I, I know who it is. Let me pick. So you want to solve this all on your own? If you can't ask Halara for help, why don't you try asking me instead? You mean the mystery labyrinth? The peacekeepers aren't just gonna stand by and listen to your deduction here. Things are just gonna escalate, and it might even end up with more deaths. Oh no. And that's where yours truly comes in. We have the information we need from the investigation. All that's left is to solve the case with the mystery labyrinth. But if I do that... There's always a price to pay. When I read the soul of the true culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. Which means, the real culprit will die. Huh? This killer's a total psycho who's already killed many others. Why do you care so much? Don't you want to solve this case, Master? What about your promise to that kid? What's wrong, Yuma? If you don't hurry, the peacekeepers will wake up. What is this nonsense? I thought we were done with him. I don't have time for this. I will make you listen by force if needed. That is my job as assistant. Well, you better hurry, or things will start getting bloody around here. <laughs> Fine. Woohoo! We got confirmation! Open up the dungeon! <laughs> That's the spirit! Well, Master, are you mentally and physically prepared? I forgot about this. <laughs> it's Sailor Moon time! Hooray! Moon Crystal Power! <laughs> And Seth's favorite form has appeared. What? Wait, does Halara see all this? this? Uh oh. Time stopped? Uh, wait a minute. The Halara, how are you moving right now? Yuma, what happened? Is this someone's forte? Part two? Shinigami, Halara's in here too. Ah, uh, thought so. You knew this would happen? Master, you used your coalescence, remember? Your ability isn't a one-way street. You have the power to borrow someone's abilities, and you share yours as well. 
Kalara wandered into the mystery labyrinth because of that effect. I think. You're not even sure? Who are you? Hmm, this'll take too long to explain. Plus, I don't feel like it. So I'll take that roll over to Master! Literally. <laughs> take a brief break just before we start this mystery dungeon. I will be back in a moment.
Okay, we're back. And I brought some popcorn this time. Ta-da! Let's start the game. It's time to do the labyrinth! your name what should i do i'll need to explain everything won't i we don't have much of a choice now no point in keeping secrets here but we are um, Halara, let me explain wasn't the whole point of it not explaining it was that you die And that's how this mystery labyrinth involving the nail man killings materialized. I see. So mystery labyrinths are materialization of mysteries themselves. And the truth is encased deep within. I appear to have underestimated you. This is an amazing forte. I must admit, it's quite a superhuman power. As far as I know, no other ability comes close to this. Who are you? I refuse to think you're just a trainee detective. You still don't know I have a mission stuff. Um, to be honest, this isn't my ability. Before you continue, tell me, who is that woman beside you? Her name is Shinigami. I think the simplest way to describe her is that she's a guide for the mystery labyrinth. That's me! I'm also Master Scary Cute Mentor! On to my next question. Why do you call him Master? You just gonna ignore me? You mentioned the Nail Man case just now. I had heard the rumors about that around town. Why are you investigating that case? Huh? What are you talking about? We were just investigating the Nail Man case together. The Nail Man? We were pursuing that case... together? Oh, she's not gonna remember shit when we get back. Don't remember? There was a young boy who wanted to hire a detective and you turned him down. I do remember you received a request from a child about some case, and you ended up seeking my help. The cost for hiring me was 5,500,800 shien. You remember the exact amount. Damn. <laughs> but I can't remember what the case involved. I do vaguely recall investigating something. My mind is clouded. I don't remember exactly what was being investigated or what was discovered. Could that be... It's because of the Mystery Labyrinth. The Mystery Labyrinth is a fortress protecting the truth, so outsiders usually can't reach it. If someone did happen to wander in, their memories of the case would be locked away. Though, if you have a pact with me, you wouldn't be affected. But I guess that part of the pact can't be shared. This is the Mystery Labyrinth's defense mechanism, then. It makes sense for a vault that protects its treasure, the truth, to have a significant level of security. We're about to knock the shit out of it. Yep, totally not strange at all. Halara here sure is smart. Halara? Oh, don't mind her. She gives people random nicknames. Anyway, since my memories of the case have been taken away, I will provide a supporting role for your investigation. Supporting role? As long as we're in here, I will act as your assistant. Well, 
That's the same as our original agreement. That means we can't rely on Halara's detective skills to blast through this dungeon. That would be cheating. That's unfortunate, but it's still nice to have an ally. Hey, Master, before we head into the mystery labyrinth, let's do that thing. Huh? What thing? Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? Oh yeah, the contract. Yeah, I am. Now she's got to vomit up the keys. <laughs> oh no, the sword. That's right, we get the sword first and then she found the key. Well, this world is just full of surprises. I assume that sword is used to cut down enemies interfering with your progress through the mystery labyrinth. Very good! You're right. It's a special sword that can interact with things here. Materialize the solution keys I got during the investigation, too. I knew this was coming, I still got popcorn to eat. <laughs> that was a lot. Here you go. Uh, do you have to vomit them out every time? What? Should I use a different hole instead? Please, God, no. <laughs> Please, don't mind her. We're all set. Now, let's unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Our target is the true culprit who preys on the truth. <laughs> Away we go. I understand that progressing through this mystery labyrinth will allow us to obtain the truth. But what happens to us if we can't find it? Good night. We'd be lost, wandering around here forever. But as long as we reach the truth, it doesn't matter how much time we spend here. Oh, I forgot to mention this, but there's a time limit for solving the mystery labyrinth. That's oh, fucking yeah. when! There's a limit to how long you can stay in here. Stick around too long and your soul will leave your body behind. Your soul Frick. will wander until it's eventually absorbed by the mystery labyrinth. And you vanish entirely. In other words, you die. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You should have told me this a long time ago. Like the first fucking dungeon. Now oh, relax, quit whining. A detective is bound to die anyway. Okay, calm down. We're not L. Right, Halara. It's no different from our usual line of work. A detective's life is always on the line. See? Listen up, Master. You might learn something. I hate You're all of you. This awfully well, Halara. Also, I like how she's with us, but she's not with us. Okay, Alice in Wonderland. They seem to represent the four crime scenes. I assume that solving all four will allow us to progress. Oh, I see. You see? Master, this is your job. So what's first? How about starting with the clock tower, since it was the first one you investigated? If the numbers are set chronologically, then the clock tower would be the fourth locked room mystery.
All right, so how do I enter? Ah, that's the doll. To the room? Yes. Whee! I wonder how this is gonna go. This is an exact replica of the clock tower crime scene. Shinigami, you didn't recreate it with your powers, did you? No, I can only do that when I hit you so hard in the head, you almost die. It looks to me like the crime scene materialized in the labyrinth on its own. The fourth locked room is the latest chronologically, correct? Yes. That's right. And this is also what got me involved in the Nailman killings. What are the details of the case? Try to tell me as concisely as possible. The crime was a locked room murder inside the storage room of a clock tower. In the middle of the room was a woman's corpse covered in countless nails. Which means that's the corpse. Yes. Yeah. There were also lots of dolls nailed to the walls. And floor. It looked just like one of those bizarre crime scenes left behind by that nailman guy from the urban legend. Hence the nailman killings. From the look of it, the door was locked from the inside. Yep. Yeah, it was locked until the body was discovered. There's only one window, and its shutters were down as well. I see. So the shutters were locked, too. This is the third floor of the clock tower. It's too high up to jump from here. Hmm. So it really is a locked room mystery. Hey! If this is a locked room, aren't we stuck in here, too? Oh, no! Master! You're trapped unless you solve this mystery! Otherwise, you'll run out of time and your soul will get snuffed out! You better hurry! Uh, hey! Huh? Question time! I see. So that's how to make the questions appear. I'm surprised you're so calm after seeing that. She's gonna sit there and be like, I've seen worse shit. I'm still saying they fleed out of here. You can't tell me that they didn't. They had a ladder or something. It has to be here. Ah, culprits must have escaped through the window. And your reasoning? When I arrived at the scene, the window shutters were closed. It was wet underneath the window, but I could tell it was already starting to dry. Which means, the window was open not too long ago. It's likely the culprit escaped through the window and closed the shutters on the way out. Is it possible to close the shutters from the outside? If you have a ladder. Yes. This style of shutter automatically locks, so if you let go of the shutters at the right height, its momentum pulls it down, and once down, it locks all on its own. In other words, the culprit held up the shutters while moving outside. Once they let go, it automatically locked. In that case, let's try leaving this locked room in the same way! Right, let's try it. The nail man killings have already been solved. Is he that peacekeeper? It's a mystery phantom! The people covering up the case in the real world are manifested like that here to stop us! You think the culprit really escaped from here? This high up? I do. If you fall, you die. 
Why don't you give it a try? Help! <laughs> so she just grabbed her like, yep, you're coming too. Hey, don't drag me down with you. We can't leave a guest behind, Halara. It would be downright unmannerly. We'll be fine. Oh. Okay. It's a new minigame. Fuck. Press the correct button when you think you have the correct answer to the question. This might be a little tough for you, Master. Oh, God. Alright. <clears throat> Get the popcorn seeds out of my mouth. We're in for a time. Let's go! The mystery labyrinth is a manifestation of a mystery. So solving it will get us out of this, right? Oh. Hang on. I heard quick. Really bad <laughs> 1.9 pounds of dead. <laughs> you mean when I weighed myself this morning and it said 215, it was a lie? <laughs> <laughs> Mama broke the scale. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was fun. Nobody clipped that. All right, here we go. I think so. The culprit wouldn't have fallen out of the window like we did. They would need a tool to get up and down. A ladder. I already said this multiple times. Cool. You should have found something during the investigation. I was helping you, after all. Well, we found the footprints. We didn't find the actual thing. You must have seen the answer with. That's the problem. found the burnt remains of that rope in the incinerator at the church. Oh. The culprit had used that rope to escape through the window. No, I can't dodge it! I hit the wrong button. I'm hitting the button. No, I can't dodge it. Bro, I don't understand. No, I can't dodge it. No, 
I can't dodge it! No, I can't dodge it! Bro, what the actual fuck? Okay, I get it now. I literally have to, like, ignore it. This is it! The nail that was stuck in the doll under the window had some rub marks on it. The culprit must have tied the rope there. That's why those nails had been hammered in below the window. It wouldn't be possible to climb down a rope simply hooked onto a window. Unless you've had special training for it. There's no way an amateur could manage it. That can't be how things went down. In that case, it couldn't have been an ordinary rope. It must have been... What's that? I can't hear you! think Yuma are you okay yeah thanks you saved me Halara correct it's all thanks to me money well spent no mm. well it was a lot of money <gasps> yes come on are you two just gonna keep staring at each other all day let's get out of this locked room uh, right through the window again so this is the rope ladder in question. It certainly would help you escape. The details of the case are still unclear to me. Was this found in the church's incinerator? Yep. That's right. It didn't concern me at the time, but it makes sense now. The rope can be folded in the middle, and then the ends can be connected together. And that's how they made a rope ladder. What makes you so sure it was used here? There are footsteps. The nail under the window showed signs of friction from a rope, and had some yellow fibers on it. A clergy member showed me the rope's burnt remains, and I noticed it was the same yellow color. And there were footprints on the ground below the window of the clock tower, facing the wall. Thinking about it now, these were clearly signs that someone climbed down the rope ladder and landed there. Wait, wasn't the rope ladder hitched on that nail? How did they get it down from the bottom? The culprit could have cut it one rung at a time as they descended. By the time they reached the bottom... It would have been one long, single rope, which they could easily pull down. The window's shutters fell due to its weight and locked automatically, completing the locked room. Aye. Yep, that's a stellar deduction. Major props. To me for terraining you! And he's back. The culprit used that rope ladder to escape the clock tower. What of it? Ah, back. That doesn't change our verdict at all. The watchmaker is the culprit. 
Nope. Master? Boom kill the mystery phantom blocking your path! Y yeah! These deductions of yours are uh. unnecessary. It's that was not clear me. who the culprit is. The watchmaker was nearby at the time of the crime. The watchmaker was also at the scene. Uh -huh. And he had a hammer for the nails. In other words, I forgot how to play this. The crime. After committing the crime. Just as you deduced, he created that locked room and escaped via the rope ladder. Hello. Oh. For now. But... These deductions of yours are unnecessary. It's clear who the culprit is. The watchmaker was nearby at the time of the crime. The watchmaker was also at the scene. And he had a hammer for the nails. In other hey. words, he committed the crime. After committing the crime. Just as you deduced, he created that locked room. And escaped via the rope ladder. This is the truth. There we go. The watchmaker is afraid of heights. He couldn't even look out the windows as he went up the tower. No way he climbed a rope ladder that high up. So it's impossible for him to have committed the crime. He's not the nail man. <laughs> Damn you! Get away, go! You said these mystery phantoms try to cover up the case, right? Which means the peacekeeper Seth is trying to do just that. Uh huh. I don't know why, but it's clear the peacekeepers are involved with this case. Perhaps it is connected to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. All the more reason to seize the truth. Let's go. Right. Jeez, who's the protagonist here? By the way, Yuma, about your sword, does it only work on cues and mystery phantoms? The solution blade works against anything in the mystery labyrinth. So don't cut your allies by mistake, Master. Damn. You could have told me that sooner. Can I use that sword? Oh, so sorry. Only Master is able to use it because he made a pact with yours truly. You may be under the effects of coalescence, but you're just an extra here, hell, Lara. Wait, I thought we weren't supposed to talk about the pact. You can use the solution blade. I was merely curious. Regardless, it's best I act as support, since I don't have any memories of what happened. Let's return to the case. Assuming the watchmaker isn't the culprit, do you have any notion of who is? I do. Halara, during the investigation, you claimed one of the people at the church is the culprit. I think I understand the reason why now. That rope was found inside the incinerator, which only clergy members could access. In other words, whoever tried to destroy the evidence is a member of the church. 
prompt and logical. I am quite impressive. Wait, you're tooting your own horn? You know... Well? I see. Wow! Hey! A treasure chest! Check it out! A new solution key! Aww. I guess that blurns up the whole the thing of the, the freaking worshipper being the, uh... Root. So, we cleared the first route. We just need to keep this up and go through each shrine one by one to gather clues about the culprit. Which supposedly leads to solving the real-life case. I'm starting to understand how the mystery labyrinth operates. You learn fast. Unlike a certain master I know. If you're so impressed, why don't you just sign a pact with Halara? Oh, are you sulking? You're the jealous kind, aren't you? No, I'm not. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> We're short on time, aren't we? Let's move on. Right. I can't wait to reap the culprit's soul. What do we do next? You can choose whichever you want, so why not start with the one you're most confident with? Let's see. Hmm. I guess that would be the casino. The second locked room mystery occurred three months ago. The corpse was inside the study, and the room's key. If you think you're up for it, then let's sulk. Oh. Are you going to the second? No, not yet. Everyone's this looks. Easy. First lock, an old geezer was nailed. Yeah, this Thank one. You're... Are you going to the first? We. Oh, did we get trapped inside a locked room again? Uh, there are locked room mysteries. But mystery isn't solved, then I won't escape this place. <gasps> Trapped in a cramped room with these two sounds. Kind of fun, actually. I have no intention of playing along with your fantasies. You might right? hurry up and take care of this. Yeah, okay. This is where I used Talara's forte with my coalescence for the first time. Postcognition allowed us to see the crime scene as it was in the past. Some things were obviously different. Those are most suspicious. Oh, this isn't the room I thought it was. Uh oh. All right. Uh, let's be the vent. Here. I know. What about the vent? You did say you Ooh, could crawl through. Would escaped through the vent. Yes, I'm sure of it. When I saw the crime scene with your post-cognition, the screws on the four corners of the vent cover were removed. 
Which means the culprit must have escaped from there. <laughs> and just as quickly. <sighs> How ludicrous. Ah! You're saying the culprit escaped from the vent? That's impossible. Master! Hoken full of holes until he's a makeshift golf course! <clears throat> what does that mean? Yeah, agreed. Are we playing a new game or are we going back to uh two swords? Nope, two swords. They used the vent. That's utterly impossible. I hit up. Think of where that vent is. Isn't it pretty high up? There's no way you could get there. Even if the cover was removed. Hmm? Then... Oops. How ludicrous. They used the vent. That's utterly impossible. Think of where that vent is. Isn't it pretty high up? There's no way you could get there. Even if the cover was removed. There's no foothold to use to reach it. There we go. Mystery. Some of the nails stuck in the bottom of the vent were bent downward. The culprit used the nails driven into the wall as footing to reach the vent. The weight caused the nails to bend. So you're forced to fight this way every time. Quite the test of endurance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no kidding. However, solving the mystery itself was simple. The nails were used as footing to escape through the vent. Did you find that out using my post-cognition? Yeah. Without your help, this case would have been impossible to solve. You'll never be considered a full-fledged detective until you can handle a case like this on your own. Sorry. Um, excuse me, the fact that we could see the past. Again. Anyway, let's head out. Oh, yeah. Right, let's hurry. <laughs> Just climb over his body as he climb out the wall. The mystery labyrinth. Such a bizarre place. I must ask. Is there no way to escape besides solving the mysteries? Nope. You mean like an emergency exit? Unfortunately, I don't think that exists. An emergency exit, huh? Well, there is one, kinda. There is? Hmm. But it doesn't solve anything. You'll just go right back to the mess you came from. Besides, to use the emergency exit, You'll have to pay a heavy, heavy price. And that is... Your life, probably. Don't worry about it. Using it here wouldn't help anyway. 
So, never mind. Just concentrate on solving the mystery. I'm gonna go with you lose the life. Got it. Get a new treasure chest. Whee! There it is. Another treasure. So, who's gonna open the treasure chest this time? How about uh, whoever looks like they'd win a character popularity poll? Oh, that's me. <laughs> All right, another solution key. Looks like another clue leading us toward the culprit. Oh, it's gonna be the girl. Hmm, someone thin. Considering the culprit used those nails as footing. And they would have to be nimble. And given the size of the vent, only someone thin could fit through it. So the culprit must be thin. Keep it up, Master! <laughs> Alright, let's keep going and solve... Yes, girl, let's just do it. The second corpse was inside this. If you think you're up for it, are you going to the sec? I can deny that this one doesn't fool me a little bit. There are dolls nailed across the room. The victim is nailed down in the same manner. And the culprit was also missing from this room? It shares common traits with the other nailman killings. Oh wait, no it wasn't. This is the one I was confident in. We're trapped again. I'll try. The door was locked when, and the only key was un- There are no windows that could have been used to escape. So how? He still escaped from the vent. Really? It's too small for someone to pass through. Yes. Yes! But so they have the fucking screen. Shut from the you can't escape through there. You like break through the door and pull the key through. Here. This has to be the spot. To leave the room, the culprit had to have taken this door to the hallway. Oh, okay. I see what they they wanted to the door and then pull the key through. Huh? There's nothing special. But there's no other possibility. There isn't another entrance or exit. But the door itself was locked and the key was found under the corpse, right? After locking it from outside in the hallway, how did the culprit enter the room and put the key under the corpse? Try it. Everything must be verified. Uh, sure. After committing the crime, the culprit went out to the hallway with the key in hand. They then locked the door. Assuming that's the only way to create this locked room, the problem is... What are you going to do with that key in your hand, Master? Shinigami, give me some rope. Don't tell me you still have no idea. Oh, hold on, let me think this over. We should go back inside for now. What? Uh huh? Looks like we're locked out. This is bad, Master! You better hurry or you'll fall into the abyss! What do 
I do? Calm down. You just need to solve the mystery. Doing that will open the path. You can do it, can't you? Y yes, I'll try. Um, we have to put the key back in the locked room, right? In that case. The key could be slid through the gap in the vent cover above the door. And if they manage to throw the key right under the corpse from here... It stopped. But nothing happened. The door is still closed. If it was wrong, a trap would have activated. So, we're on the right track about the key being thrown in. But there's more to it than that. If you simply threw it in, it'd be impossible to position it under the corpse. I see. So this is the vital clue for this locked room. I'm beginning to understand what happened here. Polara, have you already solved the trick to this locked room? I did. You haven't? Hey, quit playing hard to get and tell us. Or just me. You can whisper it in my ear. Fishing wire. If you want information from me, you'll have to pay a fitting price in Xi'an. Of course, I don't work for cheap. You really are a devil. Trying to take money from a death god, huh? The key was definitely tossed inside. But that doesn't explain how it got under the corpse. So, how did the culprit... Maybe the corpse was... But... No. How do you... Aww, the way's completely blocked off. But the only things here that can block our progress... That's true! So... At least give me a heads up first. Says, how was the corpse moved? I've been trying to figure it out for a while, but evidence was left at the scene. Huh? If you look at the evidence, you'll understand what tool the culprit used to pull this off. Tool? That's all the advice I'll provide. Uh, yeah. Got it. You just so. I'll help you out. Huh? It's barrel time! Yes, I was honestly skipping forward a little bit. To do it in order, that's the worst part. That's right. Keep that up. Drink. Give me the end. Thank go. you. The G was up here. Go, go, go. There we go. And the key of the laser beams! Which is a little bright for me, so... I gotta look away for now. And there we go. Hashtag special beam cannon. That's right! There was evidence of a thin string being used at the scene of the crime. Uh, 
A sturdy and thin string like a fishing line must have been used to move the body. Thank you, case closed. I remember my shit from the 90s. You really think a tiny string could move a whole corpse? Also not a rigger. Sure can. There he is again. That rude and gloomy guy. Technically doesn't even have to move the corpse. Put the string underneath the body. In the end, you just put the key and it goes wee. And then when it's in, it goes wink. Roll it back up. That deduction is wrong. You're wrong. What could be wrong about it? Master sounded really confident just now. Listen. The nails in that corpse's leg pierced through his body and into the floor. Which means the corpse was fixed in place. So how could the corpse be moved? Oh, true. If the corpse was stuck in place, it'd be impossible to move it. Indeed. It would be impossible. Laura, you think so too? Huh? The door! The truth is slipping further away! Of course it is. Because your deduction is wrong. It ain't though! <laughs> you people will never reach the truth. This is the end. Master, let's take him down first. Are we gonna fight him Final Fantasy style? Yeah. I will die. Ah, okay. <laughs> To the death match. Your deduction. Okay, so this one is wrong do you have any proof that the corpse was moved the corpse was fixed in place it didn't move a millimeter in fact that corpse shows no sign it was ever moved I'll flash through this mystery <gasps> No, there was evidence the body had been moved. The upper and lower parts of the body bled out differently. The blood from the lower body flowed naturally outwards along the body's outline. But blood from the upper body looks like it flowed in a downward direction toward his hips. If the corpse was motionless on its back, there wouldn't be such unusual blood stains. In other words, it's safe to assume the body's position was different from when it was discovered. He died sitting up and then he fell backwards and landed on the key. Or like I said, but I have a feeling it's going to end up being that way. Does he mention only the legs were pinned? What? What's this? Ugh, gross! Unusual circumstances. It doesn't matter. As long as the corpse was pinned to the floor, it couldn't be moved. You can't change the truth! Even this didn't work? No, you're correct. 
The answer you've reached using the evidence is the truth. Alara! There's no doubt a fine string was used in this case. Evidence at the crime scene indicate the corpse was moved. So all that remains is to answer, how was the pin body moved? That bizarre bloodstain holds the clue to all of this. The bloodstain? If the bloodstain is the clue for how the body could be moved, even while pinned... Master, we gotta chase after the door! It's getting further away! The, the, hey, wait! I won't let you... We're gonna play a version of the... was sitting up at first that's why only the wounds in the upper half of the body bled straight down I guess it was. The string I mentioned before was thin but sturdy. It was all over the room, holding the body's upper half in place. That's the reason only the corpse's neck had marks on it. then retrieved all the string that kept the corpse in place from outside the door. And with nothing to support it, the top half of the corpse fell back to the floor, just like how it was discovered. We Wanna see more? We did it! Da -na 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 -na. It appears this locked room... did that happen? Maybe you're supposed to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did. Master, you know the answer, right? Let's finish this! Right. You gotta think like the culprit, Master! Okay. Blood place is suspicious. You have to recreate the culprit's... Alright, so... Maybe you got the order wrong. First, you need to tie the fishing line down. First, another... After that, the fishing line was dr In terms of sequence, it'd probably be easier to start with things that are... Through a doll's eye, and then the fishing line passed through the eye to somewhere else. Oh, so the so what else? No, there's no you proved that yourself. was there.
here, behind the neck. Now, it's clear that the line passed through the vent. Hang on. Why pull the line through the doll first? Can't you just start by pulling it from under the body? To support the body's weight, the line needs to pass through the doll first, as it was fixed in place. Next, the fishing line. There are three points we think it over one more time. Now, to return the line to... This kept the corpse's upper torso in place. The room has been completely prepared. So next... Go outside and throw in the key. The culprit exited through the door and... The key was thrown through the... And then pull the string back the out. Managed to drop the key. Then he falls. The corpse, which was supported only by the line, that's how the culprit created. Hooray, you did I knew this one from the get-go. A little bit different from what I said, but I knew the get-go. The one that I don't really understand the most is the museum one. Be a thousand percent honest. The museum one is going to take me a minute. The blood stains were because they're gonna try to tell me something happened with that little window, and I'm gonna be like, bruh, no. The length of the nails driven into the upper and lower body were different. The nails on the upper half didn't penetrate all the way through the body, but the nails on the lower half went all the way through and into the floor. That was how the lower half could be secured while the upper half could still be moved around. That sure was tricky, but... Now I can get a new key! <sighs> Looks like... Speaking of, don't you think... A witch is me, of course? Technically it's me, but you know, bitch. Go ahead. Excuse me. This is probably another clip. Still, it must be used for something. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Let's solve the rest. Right. Okay, to the last room. The third locked room was a murder that happened one month ago in the art gallery storage in Ginma district. Pictures and paint were scattered all around the spot where a woman was boom killed. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. No. Are you going to the third lot? For Hi. Yeah, this one's gonna trick me a bit. I think they're gonna want me to do something with that little window vent, and I'm gonna be like, bruh. Oh. Did we get stuck? This was the corpse that was discovered by that worshipper and the art gallery employee. At the time of discovery, the door was locked and the key was nailed to a doll inside the room. Aside from the door, the only other entrance is the window, but it opens just enough to fit a finger in. The frame itself is too small for even a child to squeeze through. How did the culprit vanish from here? The only thing I could think of is that they left through the door. I'll have to figure out how and why another point here it went through the door just don't ask me how I yet we could have only escaped from here but hmm. not 
things happening. Maybe you made a mistake, Master. No, that can't be right. It's impossible for anyone to squeeze through that window. They could have only gotten out through the door. I'm sure the culprit had the key and locked the door from the outside after committing the crime. The culprit just used a copy of the key? Would that really be considered a locked room mystery? Well, there are only two keys to the storage space, and the design makes them impossible to duplicate. I learned that thanks to you, Halara. One of the keys is always carried by that one employee. It was used when the body was first discovered, right? And the only other key was nailed through a doll onto a painting. So, it is a locked room mystery, right? Right? Oh, that's totally it. I see. I suppose you could call it that. Hey, Yuma, can you go check? Oh, just like before. Before? Yeah. You made me do the same thing in the real world. I see. Then the answer has already been confirmed. Very well. This locked room is solved. Please tell me, because I still don't know. Huh? Wait. Did you already solve this mystery? Tell me how. Um... How about you go and check outside the window? Then even you will see. Oh, it unlocked. Looks like you can go outside. All right, let's go see. Ready? check this in the real world? Why do it again? Word. Holara told me to check it twice. There must be an important clue outside that window. Hey! Maybe the culprit threw the key in through the window. That way, the key would be found inside. Well, how about that theory? It had to be real damn good at horseshoes. Is this the storage key? Which means... This one's a freebie! I was right! Just toss it in there, Master! The culprit threw the key inside? Is that really the right answer? Did the culprit throw the key in from the window? I have a feeling it's not worth that. I, I knew that. Oh. Let me fall. I guess. That's the right answer? How? Didn't the culprit throw the key in there? That's why the key was found inside, right? No, the crime scene wouldn't end up like that if we threw it in. The key was nailed to a painting. That's not possible if you just throw it into the room. Unless you're gonna aim it. Oh, right. <gasps> But if the culprit didn't throw it in there, how is the key left in the room? Even Luna don't know this one. Not yet. Hmm. If you can't nail the key after throwing it... Huh? Ah! You're back. The key vanished. 
The key is in my hand. Master, you got the doll and nail! I see. So you're supposed to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did. Try it out. Doing so will create a new path. Yeah, I'm gonna solve this. Good luck, Master! Great. I don't know. All right. Um. You have to recreate the culprit's locked room mystery. There are a few things you have to do, but wasn't the doll you just obtained? There are a few things. Wasn't the doll you just? There are a few things you have to do. <laughs> Wasn't the doll you? All right. First, take the painting. Wait, it's too early for that. The key will be nailed to the painting at the end. Ah. The culprit. Next, both were. The painting was stood up facing the window. After that. Culprit went outside. I can see the painting and doll through the window, but I can. The doll's got a nail in it, but the problem is that key in your hand, Master. Yeah, the culprit. No, the key wasn't just hanging on it. Wait. The culprit. Finally. I pushed the paint. It completes the. Okay. That's so stupid, but okay. GG. It took some time, but you've reached the truth. Throwing the key through the window would be obvious. So to mislead us into thinking that was impossible, the key was na- It's one thing for an amateur- Seriously? Um, wait. I'll take it. Give me my key. Hey! Oh, who's gonna open this one? Uh, how would you decide? Like this! <laughs> I'm the meanest! Let's check out this treasure! Huh? What's wrong? Nothing it's in it. Empty! Uh -huh. huh? Why? After all, this must mean solving the third locked room mystery. Does that's terrible? I suddenly feel so tired. We can't call it quits. We gotta keep going. That's it for all the locked rooms. 
We make a pretty good team. <laughs> well, what do we do from here? I see. The way forward is clear. It must be due to oh, yeah. solving all of the locked room mysteries. Now let's go. Right. Again, I gotta ask. Who's supposed to be the protagonist? Uh... I don't know. He doesn't know the meaning of the word protagonist. We've found that out before. And they call someone who dies in the first chapter of a previous game the protagonist. This place is creepy. Don't be afraid to roll the dice. You must keep pursuing the truth. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. But what if I roll on that one? Yes. I don't want to roll in that one. Is this some dungeon? What is the meaning of this? Let me out of here! Let me out! I'll kill your ass in the name of God! I... I have nothing to do with the case. Yeah, I already eliminated you. I'm not the culprit! Let me go! Wow, they're all here! I so was banging on the worshipper, but I don't think it's him anymore because the, the rope can only be burned by the clergyman. Uh, all my we eliminated you him. You solved all the locked room mysteries before you made it here. You should have all the clues and evidence you need. To be honest, when I first met you, I thought you were rather pitiful. I think based on the clues, I'm gonna go with the girl. But my opinion of you has improved. These mysteries have brought you closer to becoming a true detective. Now tie up all the loose ends with your logic. All right, I'll try. Ooh, somebody's guilty. My heart's pounding. I don't. <sighs> Nail man. I, I'm not the culprit. I'm not the nail man. Actually, I think it is you. Don't make me kill your ass. Considering all the evidence gathered so far. I guess it's not her. I'm not the nail man. I was thinking it was her because of the fact that she hurt her hand doing something recently. I was like, okay, you recently hurt your hand during one of these killings, but I guess I it has to be the, the priest then. The culprit is you, father. What? That's an absolutely ridiculous thing to say. Him again? Why won't he just give up? <laughs> I hate this little beep 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 beep. Priest, a man of the cloth is the culprit. That's impossible. I do have words, but I'm not going to say them out of respect to other people. Such nonsense. R right. Do not make baseless accusations. The culprit has to be someone else. Yuma, can I leave this to you? It's not a baseless accusation. You're the only one who could possibly be the culprit. Master, you're acting like a real detective. Go on and boom kill him.
Now he looks like he belongs in Hades. <laughs> Deathmatch? Maybe. I'm a man of the cloth. Don't leave like this. I am not the mailman. That's it. The first one to discover the bodies. The mailman is the worshiper. Okay. So the mailman's the worshiper is what I have to sit through because he doesn't have access to the incinerator. I'm going to try to get some of the time back and stuff. This total <laughs> I am not the mailman. That's it! The first one to discover the bodies. The mailman is the worshiper! This is the truth! <sighs> The rope ladder used in the clock tower's locked room was found in the incinerator, which only clergy can access. The worshiper may be a regular churchgoer, but he's no clergy member. So he's no longer a suspect. Shut up! Shut up! Ridiculous! A member of the church is the culprit? Even so, I am not the culprit! There are others working for the church. Yes, there's the servant. The servant must be the nailman. The servant was able to commit the crimes. I fuck. Yes, I know. I hit the wrong button. Thank you. A member of the church is the culprit? Even so, I am not the culprit. There are others working for the church. Yes, there's the servant. The servant must be the nail man. The servant was able to commit the crimes. I'll slash through this mystery. <sighs> Climbing up to the underground casino's window with only nails for footing would require considerable agility. Judging by the size of the window, there's no way someone of his size could have committed the crime. No, no, no! Absolute <laughs> what, you're trying to say he's a skinny man? See, he ain't. The nun must be the culprit. She's thin and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. It's not like she's afraid of heights. She used the nails to climb. And you know she's always saying, I'll kill your ass in the name of God. It's clear she's the ruthless sort. Okay. But...
The nun must be the culprit. She's thin, and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. It's not like she's afraid of heights. It's not that one. Must be the culprit. She's thin and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. It's not like she's afraid of heights. She used the nails to climb. Must be the culprit. Oh, she's thin and also works at the church. The nun was absolutely able to commit the crimes. This is the truth. There was her hand. Zinni, both hands. In the Mansion Studies locked room, the culprit tossed the key behind the corpse with perfect aim. With her dominant hand injured, the nun couldn't have done that, which means she's not the culprit. Not the churchgoer, the servant, or the nun. There's only one option left. Father, it's you. You are the nail man. <laughs> hey, say something quick. Otherwise, they'll pin me as the culprit. Um, well. Ah, you're useless. I am a priest in service to God. I think it's time to play Attack on Titan. Cue the music. Da 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 da. What God would make you this ugly? All your proof is nothing but fantasy. You don't have a single piece of hard evidence. A hard evidence? But Master, you do! It's easy! Based on the facts, the priest must be the culprit. The decisive evidence that proves it is... Uh... I don't know... What?! Oh, come on, bruh. A detective must always prioritize... Listen. A detective isn't an arbiter of justice. Unraveling a case is top priority, even with questionable methods. What do you mean? Suspect. In short, you must get them to confess. Use everything in your arsenal, even if it requires bluffing. Ah, uh, here we go. Gonna do the Danga Rupa thing. Use everything? Don't hesitate to use anything that might give you an advantage. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Always remember that. I'm gonna turn the solution keys into a lie and then fire the lie at him. Words, I should just claim I have solid evidence, but what could I use as a bluff?
Hmm. Either gonna be this one or the footprints. I'm gonna leave it this. Everything you say is nothing but a fantasy. Oops. Do you have any proof that I'm the culprit? Did you find my fingerprints? I was gonna say no, but I found your shoe prints. Okay. Yeah. Enough with your stupid fantasies. Everything you say is nothing but a fantasy. Do you have any proof that I'm the culprit? Did you find my fingerprints? Did you find my blood? Of course, there's no evidence. There we go. We found your shoe prints. You left clear evidence at the clock tower's crime scene. No, you fucked up. There were footprints left under the window in the mud. When we inspected them, we found out. They perfectly match your footprints. I impossible. I already burned those shoes in the incinerator. Uh -huh. You gave yourself away. Justice in the name of God. Don't ever do that. Looks like it worked. Good job, Yuma. Thanks. You end up like Yai Agami and now this priest. Is rotten to the core. To save it, someone had to get their hands dirty. Those slain with the evil incarnate that harmed others. That's why the people ask the nail men to kill them. Evil must be punished. And so I strangled them, made them suffer. All I did was slay evil. Someone hates somebody bad enough, they give that name to the nail man. And this priest went around killing those people as the nail man. The urban legend offered targets for murder. A priest is supposed to be the voice of God, but he went around killing people because someone wanted them dead. <laughs> what is awesome! <laughs> it's terrible. It's insane to think that he'd kill people for a reason like that. That could be said about all murders. Insane people kill for insane reasons. Anyway, you did it, Yuma. My expectations of you weren't wrong after all. Is it finally over? Huh, nothing's happening. But last time... Yeah! The soul of the true culprit who created this mystery labyrinth should appear. And since it didn't... It looks like this isn't over yet. Huh? It's not over? There are still mysteries related to the nail man killings within this mystery labyrinth. But we solved all of the locked rooms and discovered the true identity of the nail man. Was I wrong? But the, the priest even confessed to it. Calm down, Yuma. There's no need to panic. Mm. If the nail man's identity is exposed and all mysteries are yet to be solved, then most likely someone else's agenda is involved in this string of killings. 
someone else's agenda? Meaning the nail man didn't work alone. You mean there's another culprit? But... Yuma, if you consider yourself to be a detective, you must see the truth through to the very end. No mystery concludes with a dead end. There is nothing we detectives cannot solve. Oh. All right. We have to review these killings from a different perspective. There's still more to be found. All right. I'm going to take another brief break real quick. And then when I come back, we'll How find the out the secondary points. truth. If any of them are hiding a mysterious secret, it would be the room that's obviously different from the others. Different? Master, I get the feeling you want my help. Isn't that right? Huh? Oh, fine. I can't tell. Okay, Master, lay it all out. One sec. I'll be right back.
All right. I am back with hey. Mango tea to be precise. Green tea, mango tea. And and it's iced. Okay? Don't come at me, twin. <laughs> Okay, game on pause. I honestly forgot what I'm doing. What am I doing? The fourth rock room is the one that's different because they left evidence behind. That has nothing to do with the matter. E yeah. I see where they're going with now. The blow in the back of the head. That's what they're gonna go with. Try to solve it, lickety split. Death. Tick tock, tick tock. You have to do it in order, that's the first part of this. It's a beam cannon! A new path's opened up. It seems to be a hidden passage. If so, then the truth should be somewhere down there. Let's go. Yeah. storage is the only one that's different right right the victims in the other locked rooms were all strangled to death oh the game is starting at the joke all had strangulation marks and scratches defensive wounds the victim in the third locked room had strangulation marks but no signs of resisting there's also evidence of blunt trauma to the head which can be considered the fatal blow the marks could have been made after the victim died, so as to appear as if strangulation was the cause of death. The real cause of death is blunt force trauma.
Here's another obstacle, but it's likely to be an insignificant one. Yuma, let's solve this mystery and move on. Right. Okay, time to cut my throat. The strangulation was faked to imply this crime had the same perpetrator as the other three incidents. By making the crime scene as similar as possible, it appeared like the mailman was responsible for an unrelated murder. Which means this was a copycat crime. I agree. Aha! Look at Luna go! Among the string of mailman killings, there could be some that were done by copycat criminals. why the mystery labyrinth still remains even after discovering the mailman's identity so who is the copycat criminal indeed we need to uncover this imposter's identity all right hmm You're accusing me of being the copycat criminal? What the hell? I'll kill your ass! It ain't her. Definitely ain't the kid. No, it's not me. I told you already. I have nothing to do with this. No, it's Has not to be you. Me. You pick the na You go into the forest. You would pick the names. Okay. Good. The culprit can only be the copycat by having info about the other. Uh, so they are going to go down that route. No. I told you already. I have nothing to do with this. You are the copycat criminal. Huh? Me? What are you talking about? I told you all about the Nailman, and even cooperated with your investigation! And now you think I'm a murderer? Are you fucking kidding me?! I was right the whole time! I said he had something to do with this. I'll crush you to dust! You fell! I always thought it was suspicious that he was the first one there every time. Maybe not the first one there, but... Why accuse me of being the culprit? I was just first on the scene! Why do you think I'm a copycat criminal? It could have all been the nail man! The cause of death is just different each time, yeah? And even if there was a copycat criminal, why is it me? 
The survey could be the copycat. The nut could be the copycat. Anyone could have done it. Say. Except. Accuse me of being the culprit. I was just first on the scene. Why do you think I'm a copycat criminal? It could have all been the nail man. The cause of death was just different each time, yeah? I knew it. Say. In that case. Accuse me of being the cop. Alfred, I was just first on the scene. Hmm. Why do you think I'm a copycat criminal? It could have all been the nail man. The cause of death was just different each time, yeah? And even if there was a copycat criminal, why is it me? The survey could be the copycat. The nut could be the copycat. Anyone could have done it! <sighs> Except... Okay. I understand. Being the culprit. I was just first on the scene. Why do you think I'm a copycat criminal? It could have all been the nail man. of death in the art gallery was blunt force trauma faked as a strangling to resemble the nail man's mo but the murders all being strangulations wasn't made public right away the only ones who knew that were those who actually set foot on the crime scenes that was the nail man himself the peacekeepers and the first eyewitnesses on the scene which means you you could have committed the murder in the art gallery. <laughs> Master, after him! Make some sense. The what? Even I don't know that one. Thanks, Shinigami. For the first on the scene to also be the culprit is rather cliche. He was always suspicious, but because the real nail man was someone else, I didn't connect the dots. He was fascinated by the nail man, and by studying him, he eventually knew more about him than anyone else. Ultimately, he became the nail man. It's ironic that he exposed his own crime by knowing too much about the other ones. Master, the truth is right there! My radar is banging like crazy! Banging? Dun 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 dun! 
It's about time to do Attack on Titan, yeah? Yeah, yep, here it is. Attack on Titan time. If we make him submit, we'll complete master. Don't let Yeah. Or are we doing comic book mode? No, we did this first and then comic book mode. Nom. <laughs> God, Shinigami. Let's do this, Master. No, I forget how to play this mode. I think I just. Thanks to Holaris Forte, we were able to see what each crime scene looked like at that time. My power allows me to see the moment the first witness saw the crime scene. Not the culprit, not the victim, but how it appeared when a Hey Nick, we're just about to solve- well, we solved this case, but we're just about to bring the guy to justice and finish this chapter. You're never going to find the culprit. What you saw is only what I saw the moment the corpse was discovered. I said you were the first one on hand. Polaris postcognition showed us that the paint can at the gallery storage entrance had been knocked over. And according to the art gallery staff member's testimony, that was your doing. You went into the crime scene first, and the art gallery employee behind you noticed you knocking over the paint can. But 
Polaris postcognition only shows the scene when the corpse is first discovered. So if you were the first person to find the body, the scene before the paint can fell over would have been recreated. But it wasn't. The paint can had already been knocked over when the corpse was discovered. That means the first person to find the corpse was the art gallery's staff member, not you. The reason you didn't count as the first person to find it is because you're the culprit. <laughs> this is the truth of the case. Huh? And the walls come tumbling down. Fatality. And slash as hard as you can. Time for comic book mode. I like comic book mode. Okay. So, how do I... Right. I have the fan and the doll. That's what I want. And then... Fix the chair, loose through the room. That one's done. Got a copycat room. You nail the key. The doll. Incinerator there. Get the rope ladder. Oh, uh, 
I didn't realize the little brown was right there. Okay. And then the priest. The nail man killer. And the copycat killer. Is the worshiper. We go. Chapter complete. Now we just gotta watch the ending cinematics. Step right up, step right up. Take it away, Shirigami and Yuma. A series of locked room murders based on an urban legend. Will we discover the true identity of the nail man? Truth bombs are about to be dropped. Time for the deduction denouement! To solve the mystery of this string of events, we have to know who the nail man is first. I still say y y me, but you know. Oh. The nail man is an urban legend of Kanaiwar. You write down the name of someone you want dead, and drive a nail through it and a doll to a tree behind the church. And the nail man will kill that person for you with a countless number of nails. A string of murders exactly like that urban legend began half a year ago. All of the crime scenes featured a corpse and dolls nailed down within a locked room. The first murder happened six months ago at a secret club in Kamasaki district. The victim was none other than the geezer who owned the place, and the cause of death was strangulation. I heard the buy-in to place a bet was pretty steep, and cheating was rampant, so it was obviously a scummy place. The key to the door was inside of a glass, and the vent that connects outside looked too high for escape to be possible. But the culprit used the nails driven into the wall as footholds to climb. With the proof? Why the nails that were bent downward? The vent was not screwed down at the time of the murder. So it could easily be removed and used as an escape room. The second murder happened three months ago. It was at a mansion near Gima District. The victim was some real estate agent who lived there. And the cause of death was again strangulation. He made a lot of money through shady real estate deals, so of course someone would be out to get him. The door to the crime scene was the only possible entrance. But the key to that door was underneath the nailed down victim. After the culprit escaped, some sort of trick was used to get the key back into the room. A fishing line passed from the vent through the eye socket of the doll and propped up the upper body of the corpse. All that was left was to exit the room, lock it, throw the key in from the vent, and boom! You got yourself a locked room mystery! The key was tossed under the victim from the vent, and once the fishing line was retrieved, the corpse's upper body fell over, completing the crime scene. The nails on the upper body didn't pierce through completely, so it wasn't nailed down at all. The third murder happened one month ago, in an art gallery storage room in Gima District. The skank's cause of death was blood force trauma! She was a pretty lady, who let her looks get to her head, and she got boom killed! The key to the storage room was nailed to a painting through a doll. Another trick was used to get the key back inside the room here. The painting with the doll nailed to it was propped up against the window, and then the culprit left the room. They nailed the key to the painting through the window, knocked it over, and bam, all done! Those are the truths behind the past three cases. And now, there's been another murder at the clock tower in Kanai Ward. The woman's cause of death was strangulation. Since you told that kid you'd take care of it, we gotta solve this case. The 
Clock Tower crime scene is rather high up on the third floor. The door was locked from the inside, and the window shutters were also locked. But there was rainwater under the window, and the nails in two of the dolls had rub marks. In other words, the culprit must have hung a rope ladder from the dolls to escape out the window. With my logic, anything is possible. Why are you imitating Ara? Anyway, a four five minutes to go. The killer cut their footing on the way down from the window. Uh, we're that way, finish this case, Steph. Side of the rope to retrieve the whole thing. There was two guilty parties. The shutters come down under their own weight, so they lock. I wonder though, who's gonna die? Would Reese die? The worshiper. It's only one of them dies. You sure love your shutters, master. The rope ladder was collected, then burned in the church incinerator, which only clergy have access to. That's how we know the mailman must be someone from the clergy. But. One question arose from this. The mailman killing share one more characteristic. All the victims were murdered by strangulation. This piece of information wasn't publicized. But the cause of death in the art gallery murder was blunt force trauma. The strangulation marks were added later. Which means that it was someone mimicking the mailman. But I already know the identity of the copycat killer. First, the mailman must be someone thin enough to pass through the vent. Someone with the skills to throw the key with precision. And someone affiliated with the church. The priest! You're the mailman! The one thing I don't like about this game is that the voices don't sync up with the cutscenes. And I know it's because I'm playing it with English, but at the same time, like... The, is someone who knows that all of the, victims were strangled to death. the other games turn around and can easily make everything line up. The Worshipper! You're the copycat criminal! The game is still fun nonetheless, it's just a little gripe I have. This is the truth of the case. Oh, it is taking both of them down. I figured it'd only take one. What's that? It's the truth. The soul of the true culprit who built this mystery labyrinth. I see. It looks otherworldly, but there's an ominous air around it. Thank you, Halara. I was only able to make it this far thanks to you. I only kept my part of the deal. You made the right choice hiring me. But I will say one thing. You've taken another step toward being a detective. That much is certain. I, Halara Nightmare, acknowledge you. R really Halara? You do? Now can we ask the true question? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Yes or no? <laughs> Alright! All eyes on Shinigami! What's about to happen? Oh, isn't it obvious? Let's give it everything we've got. It's I have to. <laughs> Expunge this cursed case! Death to all deplorables! 
In the name of the moon, we shall punish you! Good night! Should have got me a Fortnite one. Oh god, not the loud one again. I learned to love bombing, but come on! <laughs> when you reap the soul of the true culprit. Then, the cause of the Mystery Labyrinth's creation pays the price by vanishing with it. I knew this would happen, but it still hurts to see someone die before my eyes. It's like I killed them myself. No, I did kill them. I killed them with the ruthless blade of the truth. There, there. Humans boom kill cows and pigs all the time and eat them. You don't feel bad about that, right? These were the souls of deranged murderers. At least you didn't eat them. Yeah. If you look at it that way, there is nothing to feel bad about at all. It's not so simple when it comes to people dying. Did, did you people do this? Did you? Kill them with some kind of poison. Oh, be realistic. Hey, hold on. I have no we idea. We went through what's a dungeon. Uh, too much is happening all at once. We shall talk at headquarters. Follow me there immediately. Not if you're gonna keep talking through that megaphone, my dude. Are things more complicated now than before entering the Mystery Labyrinth? Oh, you want help? Are you going to rely on me again? Oh, fine. I can't say no when you ask for help. Um, <laughs> everyone! <laughs> he came back to life! <laughs> Sorry about that. You see, I'm actually the nail. What? what? These are my final words, so I can't lie. I'm the nail man. The worshiper laying there is just a copycat criminal. Search the church for the tools used in each crime. I'm sure you'll find plenty of evidence. If you think I'm lying, go ahead and check it out. Thanks! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> but that was a super lazy confession. Will it work? That should do it. We even have witnesses, so this case is closed. Oh my god, Shinigami. <sighs> That's 
because you have the fucking mega power. Everyone here will be taken to Amaterasu Corporation at once. What? It wasn't effective at all. He's so stubborn. This is why I hate authority. Hey, Nana. What do we do? Me. Hey. Wait. I hear something. Huh? What now? A motorbike. Something is heading this way at an alarming speed. It can't be. <sighs> Where is that coming from? Whee! No, no. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> you dare speak so carelessly? Who do you think I am? The hero who defends peace and order in Kanai Ward. Director of the Amaterasu Peacekeepers. The Honorable Yomi Hellsmile. The Peacekeepers Director? So he is the head of the peacekeepers. Now you know, small fry. Bow down. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. Benevolent Director Yomi is here to help. Oh, excuse me for the late introduction. I am Vice Director of the Peacekeepers, Martina Electro. She's my beloved right hand. No one else gets to have her. What's with him? Possessive much? Master, be careful. This Yomi guy is dangerous. Huh? I've never seen anyone emit such a dangerous aura before. He's that bad? So, no, he's a teddy bear. What brings you here? Oh, right. I was so focused on my beloved right hand that I completely forgot. As mentioned earlier, Director Yomi is here to help. I hear you've been troubled by Seth's unreasonable treatment. Is that right? Huh? D Director Yomi, what is going on here? Get rid of that microphone. Why am I? We had discovered you've been receiving sizable kickbacks for facilitating donations meant for church. <gasps> we now know why you were so desperate to clean up all the nail man killings. After all, it would be troublesome to lose access to all that money if the priest was arrested as the nail man. Wait, please. Director Yomi, I did this under your orders. Thank you. Did you say something? Because I didn't hear a thing. I, I only did this because you, you ordered me to. Seth, you make me sad. I am the hero and defender of peace in this city. My peacekeepers are proud soldiers of that mission. Even if I did. You let yourself be corrupted. How could you? You let yourself get caught! Seth. <laughs> For the sake of the peacekeepers and the peace of the Lord I ward. Die. Taking advantage of your position as a peacekeeper executive is a serious crime. The punishment must be severe. But 
What? Wait, are they really gonna kill him? Honestly, just take it away. His yeah, mega fall will be punishment enough. For God's sake. Underling would betray me like this. I'm so annoyed. I'd go insane if I didn't toy around with my beloved right hand. It's an honor. We're not touching that with a 20-foot pole. Like a lizard cutting off its own tail to survive. So my kid is in charge of the peacekeepers? Don't look him in the eyes. Don't talk to him either. Good job, Mike. Possible, don't even breathe the same <laughs> air as him. Though it's probably too Like, hey, Mike did not get a nap, but he did other well, shit. Well, then. To our shit for brains friends playing detective. Looks like I have to give you a warning. Know your place in my city and stay there. Follow the rules and don't disturb our peace. Oh, you actually did take a nap? Or oh, I've been streaming for almost five hours. Yeah, okay. Die. I guess a nap could have happened in there. <laughs> also, my camera's out of whack again, so hang on. <laughs> One case. Then on me. In this city, Director Yomi is both the law and the peacekeepers itself. I think it's because of like, us means you defy law like, and order. You will receive fitting treatment for such behavior. Before you were insignificant specks of dust, but now that you've banded together, you've become an eyesore. Detectives, my ass. Annoying little shits. There. Whoa. Let's not give the camera a reason to uh, freak out. Oh, that just gave me an instant headache, my Alicia. beloved right hand. Yes, Director Yomi. Yes, my lord. <laughs> oh. Looks like we've been targeted by someone dangerous. Yeah, thanks to you. One wrong move and it would have been all over. You got that? I'm sorry, but no buts, none. How did this happen anyway? Well, Laura, help me out. Please explain what happened. No, nope, we're just gonna skip this. You said you acknowledged me as a detective, didn't you? What? When did I say that? Huh? Doesn't remember anything that happens in the dungeon. Everything that happens in the mystery labyrinth gets forgotten. What? Uh huh. Lara's memory must have been wiped after entering and leaving the labyrinth. Nothing inside the mystery labyrinth can be taken into the real world. Not even memories. Unless you have a contract with yours truly, that is. Woke up as like, focus 3.30. But I thought Halara and I had finally reached an understanding. Memories from up until you enter the mystery labyrinth are retained. Like the debt you owe for your assignment. Frick! <laughs> hey, Yuma? Are you listening? You better make sure this doesn't happen again. It's gonna happen again. By the way, Chief. Our submarine office is tipping over. Are you sure the peacekeepers didn't mess with it? What? Seriously? I have to go back and repair it. Yuma, help me out. Follow me. It was supposed Oof. to be time for you to reveal the solution, but we've ended up in quite the mess. Huh? Y yeah. This is my first time dealing with the true culprit dying before they could be accused. But he came back but to life, remember? I recall how you did your best to try and solve the case. Huh? You should be proud. Oh, Laura. Look, the chief is calling for you. You should go. Right. Thank you. And I believe that's the end of the chapter. If it's not, I'm gonna go until the official chapters end and I hit the save on it. 
But I think that's the end of the chapter. Is she poking my ass? Shinigami, what the fuck are you doing? The keeper executive was taking bribes from the church? If Director Yomi said so, it would be considered the truth, even if it isn't. What about the priest being the new man? It's going to be publicly announced as the truth. It appears the priest's strong desire to save others turned him into the nail man. He saw people wishing for revenge as they hammered those nails in the forest and decided he needed to save them. That was the motive, though it could all be a story made up by the peacekeepers. It's not. So what about the kitty cat criminal? You mean the copycat? Copy that one was already publicized as well. They say the copycat did it out of admiration for the real nail man. And in the end, he felt so much guilt that he poisoned himself? None of this really makes any sense. It sure didn't look like death by poison to me. It was me! I did it along with that detective kneeling in penitence over there. It would make more sense to assume Yomi killed them somehow. Especially when you consider the timing. He'd do it without batting an eye. Yomi Hellsmile, the director of the Peacekeepers, the leader of our enemy. I heard he rode in on a dragon. No, it was a motorcycle. From what I've investigated, the Peacekeeper's influence is gaining ground at Amaterasu Corporation. And there's some sort of power struggle going on. Seems like they're getting their way internally. I hear that their boss, Yomi, is extraordinarily dangerous. That's what Shinigami said. I think he's a teddy bear. Ordinary. So he is very normal? How scary. Ubuki! It's only a matter of time until the peacekeepers gain complete control of the corporation. When that happens, they might outright attack the World Detective Organization. Perhaps the WDO made its move because they saw the warning signs. If that's the case, it could have something to do with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Oh yeah, what's the deal with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? We still know nothing about it, huh? It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the Nailman incident. I wonder what it could be. Sheesh, so much to deal with. This sounds exhausting. Didn't I tell you that from the start? We have to obey directives from number one, no matter how difficult they are. And I still say number one is literally number one from Kone Kiss next door. Well, well, we got some very talented so you can prove me otherwise. Gathered here. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. <sighs> so much. No, everything changes from now on. Yuma, you can take a seat now. Oh, I'm allowed. Thank you. <sighs> My legs feel numb. Don't stick your neck out recklessly from now on. For everyone's sake. Got it? Hi, hi. Got it. Hey, we worked super hard. I'm so stressed, I could die. Oh, wait, but I can't die. <laughs> <sighs> Do we have a visitor? That's rare. Bigger question, why does a submarine have a doorbell? Sure. Oh, How's our buddy? You. My dad is back safe at home. It's all thanks to you. Did you know where we lived? Thank you for helping us. No, I just... Well, I'm happy for you. Oh, look at you getting thanked. You were on your knees just a moment ago. Be quiet. It's just a ring doorbell. <laughs> it goes underwater. There's one more.
one thing I want to ask you. What is it? Did someone else die or something? Will you play catch with me? Oh, <laughs> catch? But it's raining. Actually, sure. Let's play. My memories still seem like faraway raindrops. My hands still have yet to grasp a single thing. I am still lost. Is it all right for me to be here? But with the worn baseball gripped in my hand, my heart somehow feels lighter. Why I wanted to be a detective. It could have been for the sake of science. Mine's for losers to follow the rules. No! <laughs> Maybe I should give myself credit for this small realization. Shinigami, me no. <laughs> so, for just a bit longer, I think I'll keep pretending to be a detective. All right, the official end, chapter one, which means, ladies and gents, ooh, Luna got an S grade. <laughs> Three levels. That means the stream is going to end here for now. Here's the game plan. I'm going to go and eat dinner and stuff because it's 5 o'clock. And then I'm going to track down my little brother. And if I can get a hold of him, I'm going to hop on Fortnite and I'll stream some Fortnite. If I can't get a hold of him, I will try to get my cloud save to come back onto this PC and I'll play Elden Ring. I have to catch up with stuff. So it's either going to be Fortnite or Elden Ring. What ends up being the stream game would be dependent on who I've had. So we will be by live again a little later tonight. Just don't know exactly when. I'm going to try to aim for around 6.37. So I'll rest my back a bit if I do come back onto the computer. And just in case it takes a while for me to figure out the cloud save thing, because I have to get it off my laptop and all that stuff. So. Thank you everyone for hanging out with me today. It is greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye! And of course I'll find someone to raid too. Stick around to do a raid. Otherwise, I'll see you in a little bit.